hello everybody so in this video i'm going to explain you uh, some of the problems based on pythagoras property so this pythagoras property as you all know it is in the chapter properties of triangles right so this is 12.5 exercise in which we have fourth problem so what is the fourth problem let us see so in a right angle triangle abc the lengths of sides are given below you need to find the length of the hypotenuse okay so the first bit is a equals to 2.5 meter while b equal to 6 meters okay so first and foremost as you are uh, doing the pythagoras property the first thing you need to do is just draw a right angle triangle okay so this is your right angle triangle where you have 90 degrees so now let us give the name as a b and c okay so here you need to find the length of the hypotenuse so you all know very well that the longest side in a right angle triangle is nothing but hypotenuse okay so this hypotenuse actually you need to find out this and it is already given in the question the other two sides okay a equal to 2.5 meter b equal to 6 meter so this side and this side is given okay either you can take 2.5 for this one or 6 for this or 2.5 for this or 6 for this okay it it is not compulsory that you have to take a particular side particular measurement only any like two measurements are given so any where you can take so this is 2.5 meter while this is 6 meter okay so now you need to find out this hypotenuse this longest side you need to find out so what you'll do pythagoras property what is pythagoras property the square on this hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides okay so this ac square ac square equals to this ab square plus bc square right so now this hypotenuse as we don't know we are keeping this on the left hand side only so ac square will just keep it on the left hand side then ab what is your ab that is 2.5 whole square plus bc bc is nothing but 6 square okay so now 2.5 whole square so you can do 2.5 into 2.5 okay so uh, actually if you don't consider like orally if you want to do this if you don't consider this point it will be 25 right so 25 square 25 square will be 625 okay so now point before one digit then 2.5 into 2.5 when you do how you will put the points point before one digit point before one digit something like that so point before two digits okay so point before two digits means you'll be getting 6.25 okay actually you can do it in the rough column but just orally i'm explaining you this so plus six square six six are 36 okay so 2.5 into 2.5 if you want to do in rough column and solve and get then you can get it okay so after that 6.25 plus 36 so 36 plus 6 will give you 42 so 42.25 okay again this calculation you can do in rough column so 42.25 you will get right so now actually this is ac square okay we only want ac so what you can do ac equals to root over 42.25 but um, do you think 42.25 is a perfect square like first of all what we can do is we, we will just remove this point after removing this point what we will get 4 42 2 5 that is 4000 2 5 divided by after point i removed the point so after the point two digits we have so that's why two zeros in the denominator okay so sorry okay you can see now so two zeros in the denominator you have written now after that ac equals to root over this ac we are writing square will go to the right hand side and it will become root okay 4 42 25 divided by 100 okay so now 42 25 so whether it is a perfect square or not how to know that let us just do the prime factorization okay you can do 42 25 so this one will go with 5 table right so here 5 8s are 40 then uh, 
2 is remaining 22 5 4 is a 20 then again 2 is remaining 25 5 5 is a 25 okay now 5 1s are 5 then 3 is remaining 34 5 6 are 30 then 4 is remaining 45 5 9 is a 45 this is 169 169 will go in only 13 table okay with 3 table you can't do with 5 you can't do so 13 13 is a will be 169 then 13 ones are is 13 okay so now ac equals to in place of 42 25 we can write 5 square into 13 square okay divided by 100 100 means how can you write 100 in terms of squares 10 square 10 tens are gives you 100 right so now uh, you're having square on each and every number over here okay so root square so let us just separate it phi root phi square into root 13 square then divided by 10 square then root okay this is just ac now this square and root get cancelled everywhere now phi into 13 divided by 10 so what is phi into 13 phi 13 are will be 65 divided by 10 now 65 divided by 10 means here one digit you are having like one zero you are having so one zero if we shift to the numerator then that will become point so before one digit okay so 6.5 so ac is nothing but 6.5 so what is that ac units are very important to write so here meter and meter is given so that's why we are writing meter over here also okay so actually what is the 6.5 it's nothing but the length of the hypotenuse okay so therefore you can write the length of the hypotenuse is 6.5 meter okay so now i hope you understood this problem it's it's very simple okay it just have uh, uh, to be uh, done by pythagoras property that's it okay now let us move to the next problem that is sixth one the hypotenuse of a right triangle is 25 centimeter if one of its sides is 7 centimeter find the length of the other side okay now this is also similar to that only first of all you're drawing one right triangle okay in this right triangle you know very well this longest side is hypotenuse so in uh, your question the hypotenuse value is given as 25 centimeter right now one of its sides is 7 meter one of its sides means either this one you can take or this one you can take it's your wish so let us take this one 7 centimeter find the length of the other side so the length of the other side means this side we don't know okay so now again the same thing let us name this triangle as a b c okay so now pythagoras property pythagoras property is ac square equals to the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of square of the other two sides okay so ab square plus bc square so whatever is the unknown term here unknown is here uh, you, you just have to take this is bc which is unknown okay we don't know the value of this so this bc let us take to the left hand side so bc square equals to this ac square minus ab square equal to ac square what is ac 25 square minus what is ab ab is 7 square so what is 25 25 is nothing but 25 square 25 into 25 what it will give you 25 into 25 it is 625 if you want to multiply in your rough you can then 7 square will be 7 7 of 49 625 minus 49 now here 5 minus 9 so one uh, borrow you are taking 15 minus 9 okay 15 minus 9 will be 6 and then here 11 minus 4 so 7 and here 5 is remaining so 576 okay so bc bc equals to root over 576 so 576 is a perfect square right if you want you can again uh, uh, do it in your rough column whatever we have done just now prime factorization in the earlier problem so 576 is nothing but 24 into 24 okay so 24 centimeter right so the length of the other side this bc is nothing but 24 centimeter okay now let us move to the seventh problem so the seventh question is actually uh, uh, i'm not writing here so please you refer the textbook 
so the seventh question is a ladder seven meter long rest against a vertical wall okay first of all let me draw a vertical wall so this is a vertical wall so what it is given a ladder 17 meter long rest against a vertical wall okay a ladder so whenever you place a ladder it will be like this slant only right it it is not something like this something like this you are placing okay if you place like this then it will fall obviously so you will just place like this so here a ladder is there ladder is 17 meter long so this 17 meter long ladder is placed its rest against a vertical wall okay if the foot of the ladder is foot of the ladder this is the foot of the ladder if it is 8 meter from the foot of the wall now this is a wall so its foot is this one okay now this is the wall and this is the ladder right so now this is a foot of ladder and foot of wall okay so the distance from the foot of ladder to this uh, to the foot of wall is what it is given 8 meter okay now you need to find the distance of the other end of the ladder from the ground so this is the other end of the ladder you need to find the other end from the ground this distance you need to find okay so obviously this part now for this triangle again if you want you can just name it as a b c like we have done in the earlier problems also so now this a c is given b c is given this part is not given which is a b okay what is your pythagoras property a c square equal to a b square plus b c square so here this a b square the unknown value let us write on the left hand side a b square then this a c square minus b c square so a c square is 17 square minus b c square is 8 square so what is 17 square 17 into 17 will give you 289 minus 8 8 is 64 so 289 minus 64 9 minus 4 is 5 then 8 minus 6 is 2 then 2 as it is okay so a b equals to root over 225 so 225 is a perfect square 15 15 now will be 225 so a b is nothing but 15 meter okay so you can say that finally the distance of the other end of the ladder from the ground is 15 meter okay so in the same way you have got eighth question also so what is the eighth question the question you can once again refer into your textbook so um it is given a ladder 25 meter long reaches a window of building 20 meter above the ground okay so what it is saying once again a ladder 25 meter long reaches a window of building okay so this is your building this is the window of the building okay so now a ladder 25 meter long reaches a window of building 20 meter so first of all this building is of 20 meter it is mentioned in the question and a ladder is kept somewhere like this so that it it reaches this window okay so now uh, determine okay what is the distance of ladder that is also mentioned in the question the distance sorry it uh, it is 25 meter long okay yeah the length of ladder is 25 meter long which reaches a window of a building 20 meter okay from the ground so you need to find out the distance of the foot from the ladder from the building so this is a foot of ladder this is a foot of building so again the distance this part you need to find out okay this part you need to find out so if you want you can give this a b c okay a b c means again here if you apply the pythagoras property a c square equal to a b square plus b c square so this b c square you don't know you can just find it out by taking this part only okay so now the next question is 11th one uh, find the perimeter of the rectangle whose length is 60 centimeter and a diagonal is 61 centimeter okay so first of all let us draw a rectangle you know in a rectangle opposite sides are equal okay this two sides 
and this two sides opposite sides are equal okay so what is mentioned find the perimeter of the rectangle you need to find out the perimeter of rectangle what is the perimeter of rectangle formula 2 of l plus v if you don't know the formula also perimeter is nothing but the sum of all the sides okay you know this very well this side plus this side plus this side plus this side okay so now in this problem uh in this rectangle it is given length is 60 centimeter so this is length 60 centimeter if this is 60 then this is also 60 okay and also the diagonal is 61 centimeter so suppose this is one diagonal we are taking which is of 61 centimeter okay so we will give the name a b c and d so this two sides like this side we don't know if we get this side then obviously this will be the same okay so you need to find out the perimeter for finding out the perimeter we should know this breadth also of a rectangle only length we know okay so now what we will do again we will apply a pythagoras property taking this triangle okay let us take this triangle a b c this a b c we will consider one triangle so in triangle a b c let us apply the pythagoras property in this triangle you can see the longest side 61 centimeter is this one so let us uh, take b c square equal to a b square this a b square plus a c square okay so now out of this b c a b and a c we don't know this part okay this part a c is unknown so let us write this unknown on the left hand side so b c square minus a b square so what is b c b c is nothing but 61 square minus a b a b is 60 square okay so 61 square 61 square is uh, 61 into 61 which will give you 3721 minus 60 into 60 6 6 are 36 2 0 so 3600 okay so 3721 minus 3600 1 minus 0 1 and then 2 minus 0 it will be 2 then 7 minus 6 is 1 okay 3 minus 3 0 so 121 so ac equals to root over 121 which will be 11 okay 11 centimeter 121 is a perfect square 11 11 size 121 okay so in this way you got this side ac as 11 centimeter so this is 11 centimeter means this is also 11 centimeter now you got all the sides of a rectangle 60 11 60 11 okay you can easily find out the perimeter okay so what is perimeter of rectangle formula directly in the formula also you can put this so 2 into l plus b so 2 into what is length length is 60 already given in the question breadth just now we find that is 11 okay so 2 of 60 plus 11 what is 60 plus 11 60 plus 11 will give you 71 so 2 into 71 2 into 71 2 ones are 2 2 sevens are 14 142 centimeter okay so therefore you can write the perimeter of the rectangle is 142 centimeter i hope you understood this problem and whatever problems i showed you today in this video so uh, fifth problem also is similar to the fourth one you can just have a look once on the fifth problem okay so that's it for today